In the fall of 2020, I was invited to teach a bottle brick wall workshop at the Tamaqua Sustainability Project in Pennsylvania. I took the opportunity to meet everyone that was involved one-on-one, -on -one, to hear their unique stories, and to share them with all of you. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the coordinator of this workshop, Nikki Rhodes. involved with Will and Bill three or four years ago at this point, um, we were just building a little greenhouse in Will's backyard. All right, what are you doing, Nikki? I'm uh, finishing this bottle wall, putting a final layer of concrete on. Then we're gonna clean it off, clean off all the bottles just like this to create that beautiful stained glass effect from the bottles. And that project served as a prototype um, for this project, which is a single family home on 18 acres of land. So this weekend's bottle workshop was our very first um, community workshop that we, we've run. And uh, we really wanted to, you know, bring a, a group of students in uh, both to share the uh, skills and resources and knowledge that we've gained just by doing these projects, you know, provide students with a, a sense of confidence that they too can build um, like this. Um, and also to get a little bit more work done on the house that we wouldn't otherwise have been able to do. Yeah, we hope that this initial bottle brick workshop will serve as a foundation for many more workshops to come. Um, we have a lot of ideas, um, including earthen floors and perhaps aircrete and maybe hempcrete, other types of um, experimental building materials. And we're really excited for Bill's Borough and, and just the Tamaqua Sustainability Project in general as a platform for knowledge exploration and material exploration and uh, you know, exploration in community and exploration in ecology. Yeah, I think the Tamaqua Sustainability Project, while it is this, you know, really incredible um, mountainside and it's really an incredible structure so far, I think what's really most incredible about TSP is the people who have gotten involved. You know, whether they're students who just came up for the weekend or whether they're builders um, and designers who, like me, have just gotten involved and been lingering around for four years, um, I think that this project really attracts a uh, interesting and uh, kind of people who think unconventionally, and I think that's a really important thing in architecture right now. You know, when I got involved with um, this project and with building Earthships in general, I noticed immediately that there was a close connection um, between the designer and the builder and the actual structure and also the earth and, you know, the systems that exist such as the sun and um, the ground and rain. And, you know, I don't necessarily think that earth ships by themselves are the, uh, is a panacea for all of the problems that we face as a society. However, I think the philosophies that they're built off of, um, you know, which include being closer to the earth and, and nature, um, and also closer to ourselves. I think that it's these ideas that we have to adopt on a greater scale. All right, that's it for this video. This interview is featured in a full-length documentary on the Off-Grid Guru channel, so be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos covering this inspirational project. Plus, if you want to check out the Tamaqua Sustainability Project in Pennsylvania, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can stay up to date with all the courses and classes that are available.